Let me see what these folks talking about. What y'all got going on? We received a new mission. I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. Huh? Oh, that's the dog. is designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Oh! Wait, does that mean Korumara was going to fight with us? Oh! I honestly wasn't expecting this either, but the test results show it's quite possible. I'm not bringing a dog into a life or death battle. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Koro-chan? Is this what you want? He says, I'm returning the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? Good to have you, boy. Take him for a walk, and it's the perfect time because it's summer break. Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. A summer. Wait, what'd you say? Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? We're going to be taking supplemental courses. What? I've already applied for all of us. Why would you do that? I can't be happy for I can't I can't have a month of happiness. I know how difficult it's been to balance both school and our late night excursions. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. We don't we want breaks. The chairman agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? First I've heard of it. Mitsuru, this is an L. This is an L. This is a L. What the heck is? I'm about to go crazy. Oh, um, sorry. I completely forgot to mention it. I'ma stab you. No way. Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Yeah, why do I gotta get supplemental classes? I was number one in my grade. Let me stay home. Come on, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, this sucks. Uh, well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best. I'm gonna beat the brakes off of you. Don't play with me. I don't want to go. They're going to have to expel me. I'm not going. Oh, a puppy. As a team leader, I must properly support him. Nah, me and Misuru, we going to have some issues, man. Because she's doing too much with that. Puppy, 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 puppy. Ah! Puppy, puppy, puppy. Ah! It's good enough just to have you here. Maybe I should take it for a walk tomorrow instead. Yeah. Want to watch another DVD? It's a match with a heavyweight champ. Me considered to be the greatest of all time. I burned the TV recording onto a DVD a while ago, but I suddenly feel like watching it again. Yes. Mike Tyson? Muhammad Ali? All right. Today, we're going to see some of the greatest matches the champs have ever... Hmm? And here we are with the first match of the qualifiers. In the red corner, we have Akihiko Sonata kun from Gekokan High School. Me. This is footage from my first official match. My coach from back then recorded it for me. Uh, sorry, looks like I put on the wrong video. Uh, let me switch it out. No, I want to see this. I want to see this. Hey, come on. It's not that interesting. He probably got beat up. 
But I guess this might be a good opportunity. Uh, let's watch it. Uh, I look so stiff and nervous. My form is all over the place. Uh, how did I even win this? At least I can tell I've improved since then. Here's where I get my left straight in. Woo! And the winner is Sonataku <laughs> from Check the my face. corner. I'm trying to look calm, but on the inside, I can barely contain myself. I know I said before that I just wanted to learn how to fight with my bare hands, but this might actually be why I stuck with boxing. This victory gave me confidence. I wasn't so stiff in any of my later matches. Are you the type to get nervous in front of a bunch of people like that? Yeah, I say so. You know, occasionally, you get like that. Well, that's a surprise. You don't seem like you let the small things bother you. But I guess you're good at not letting your weakness show, huh? I'm a goat like that, man. I've learned a lot from boxing. But there's a strict rule I follow when it comes to winning. Find your opportunity, then strike without hesitation. Yeah! It's easy enough to remember, but hard to apply. You could say the same thing about fighting shadows, too. That's facts. I've always tried to keep those words in mind, but now I'll be even more conscious of them. I found new potential of the what, 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 uh, DVD. Buff boost increases the effects of buffs on self. You know, I never thought you'd see me like that. But it did help remind me how I felt when I was starting out. Anyway, sorry you had to sit through that. I'll save the champion matches for next time. Now we move on to round two of the qualifiers. In the red corner, Akihiko Sanada oh, well, from Gekokan High here, School. Wanna watch some more before we go to sleep? Shoo, I'm down. Sending me to supplementary classes. I ought to shoot you. Keep playing with me. Who's on my phone? I'm sorry, but I don't talk to women. Yo. Okay, sir, perfect timing. You see my message, the one about my great idea? I was thinking of carrying it out. <laughs> Hell yeah, you know what's up. Okay, I need to buy the thing we need. Just wait here for me. I didn't read the great idea. That's one magnificent melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. Okay. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him in the park. And man, that kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. What are you really getting at? Honest to God, I just want the kid to have a fun summer. Look into my eyes. If they lie to you, Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. I knew it. And you know what that means. I'm gonna need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you, oh boy. I think my arms are gonna fall off. Bro, it's a watermelon, it's not that heavy. Today shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. Uh. Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. Ah, uh, come on, we're bored. Hey, don't make it sound like we have nothing better to do. Do we really? Do we really, though? Eh, but I guess we really don't, huh? Come on, let's have some fun. Well, when you put it that way, maybe just for a little bit. 
<laughs> I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. We didn't forget about you. Can Don eat watermelon? All right. What are we waiting for? The youngest gets to drop his blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. News to me. Wow. Must have never had a chance to talk about it. That I used to play baseball, I mean. Anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Nah, uh, well... Nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. Why are you whining? What's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? Trying to tell her something. Come on, Koromaru. You can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. Koromaru? What are you doing? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? What do you want to use? Um, anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. All right, we're gonna hit it with you then. Interesting. Kind of a weird request. Oh, like if Sonata-san used his bare hands? Someone say my name? Let's beat the watermelon to death. Whoa, Sonata-san. <laughs> well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof. So I came to check it out. Hmm, watermelon splitting, huh? That's right! We were just talking about what to use to hit it! You're not gonna use that bat? We want you to use your fists! My fists? On this? Yes! Oh my god, yes! I'd actually love to see that! That's okay, right, Jupe-san? Huh? Uh, sure. If that's what you want. Alright. Guess I better make this good then. Come on! Come on, let me see, let me see. DA, try not to go all out or there won't be any left to eat. He got that evil look in his face. He's better to do something devious. Whoa! Sonata-san, you're incredible! He done injured his hand. thing was still edible after it exploded like that. Didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but looked like a mod act. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, nah. before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole back thing. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, the kid ends up pitying me. Man, you have great qualities, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about me anymore. I'll just get even sadder, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault. Uh, how the hell do I put it? This is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life, Lord. my teenage years. Oh my goodness! Just all over the place. Random anyway, venting. I think we're done for today. Here yeah. we go. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you helping me prep and clean up. Well, let's head back downstairs. These Persona characters—they just—they just vent out of nowhere, like.
One second, y'all having a good time. Y'all chatting. Y'all having fun. Next second, my uh, mother died when I was small. Like, um, okay. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? I hope he bites the crap out of you. That's good to hear. I hope he bites you to death. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Koro-chan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. He's already not sitting still. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions. Kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Oh yeah, I still gotta beat the crap out of you for that. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo-kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. Yeah, hurry up and get my name off of that. Now. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Yeah, you were sticking your nose where it don't belong. Now I'm finna stick your nose up. Ooh. Look, take my name off that list now. I'm not doing it. Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl. Awaiting me by the shoreline. The city or the shores. Fun. <laughs> Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. You do need classes, though. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman? Weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? What do you want? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? That's where Sonata Senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. Oh, maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots. <laughs> I was just talking with everyone about Koromaru. He'll need to be taken on a walk. Walk, we don't, we won't, uh, uh, we won't be assigning that duty to anyone in particular. Walks at night if it seems he wants to go out. I'm starting to question whether or not I even started the dang social link, because it's not letting me do nothing when you call me. We're not going into Tartary. Man, I, I, I mean, I'm top of my class and y'all gonna put me in summer school. That's gotta Good be morning. some bull crap. Morning, woo, it's already so hot this hour. By the way, have you heard anything about the dates for the health checkup? Nah. What, really? I told Junpei to let you know. Yours is on August 14th. Anyway, it's seriously too hot out here. Let's hurry and get inside. I need to be in a classroom with air conditioning stat. Chop, chop, let's get to it. Crunch! I'm not paying attention to school, bro. 
Oh my goodness, bro. I just want to do my social links. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. All that looks important. All of that looks important. <laughs> I just can't. No. No. Oh, I just skipped all of that. That's probably important stuff. Okay. I apologize. Hold on. The first card, number zero, it is the fool. Represents beginning and it suggests infinite possibilities. That's me. Other words, the beginning of life. Next is magician. Represents action, initiative, and also immaturity. That's that. Damn, you bum. High priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. Empress represents both motherhood and maternal love. Emperor is an opposing card, which represents fatherhood, leadership, and decision making skills. Power friend represents formality and knowledge. The symbol of religion. Lovers represents choice. Here, the individual individual finally begins to develop a conscience. Chariot represents the individual's victory. Justice is exactly what it sounds like, knowing what is right and wrong. Hermit represents self-reflection, searching for answers deep within oneself. Fortune represents fate and the opportunities it brings. Strength represents passion and self-control. Hangman represents the individual's inability to take action. Hey, that represents Michael pretty well. Spiritual death awaits the individual with the 13th card, which is aptly named Death. Oh, is Pharaoh's gonna die? Death is considered a, tr a transitional card, with death the old ends and new begin. Now let's move on to what happens following the transition. Temperance is the balancing of opposites, opening one's eyes to the world allows for growth. Then the encounter with the devil is where one faces temptation. At the tower, the individual values will start to collapse. It seems as if there's something to believe in. The individual then finds a glimmer of hope in the star, granting one peace and serenity. In turn, this makes one vulnerable to the moon's illusions, which gives way to fear and tre trepidation. The individual may be rewarded with a bright future by the sun, which signifies true achievement. Judgment awaits the individual at the journey's end when looking back on the path one has traveled. The final card is the universe, which represents the individual reaching full awareness. And that's the growth of the individual, and ex as explained by the tarot cards. Perhaps all this talk about life doesn't hit home with you lung folks just yet, huh? Well, now you can use all 78 cards to divine the future in detail, but most people only use the 22 major arcana. Okay, now let's talk about the fortune telling using arcana. You First, you need to shuffle the cards. If a card is reversed, its meaning will change. Now, this is important, so pay attention. Mr. Edogawa continues to drone on and on. I managed to pay attention to his lecture. Y'all trying to put a 666 on my stat sheet. Y'all better calm down with that. It's almost time to head to summer school. I need to stop by the Memorial Hospital on the way back later today. We'll get started. Now let's begin the yard. Hey, Bob. Hey, how are you guys handling the heat? I could brew you up my special tea if you'd like. Now let's continue with our special summer course, The Truth Behind Magic. I'll be talking about Kabbalah. I assume you all have at least heard of Kabbalah, yes? It is known as a mystical study of the Hebrew scriptures, but as I mentioned before, it had a great impact on Western society. It is said that you to learn the secrets of magic, you must first understand Kabbalah. Okay, then. I don't really care. So who is the person who formed this incredible ideology known as Kabbalah? According to legend, it was Moses. Yes, that Moses. The Moses that gave us the Ten Commandments and split the Red Sea. But in reality, it was formulated by a group of rabbis long, long ago. However, because it features such a complicated coded system, Kabbalah did not become known to the Western world until much later. Now it is important to note that there are many different ancient methods of deciphering Kabbalah. For example, there is Gematria, interpretation by re of text by replacing letters with the numbers they represent, whatever that is, where you take a letter from each word to form another sentence or thought. Tamora, a method where letters are letters of words are played, replaced, thereby giving a new sentence, giving a sentence a new meaning. Different all these methods make it difficult to fully comprehend Kabbalah. So continuing on. One of the most important ideas of Kabbalah is the Tree of Life, comprised of ten sephirot. Most illustrations depict it as a chart shaped like a tree. Ten nodes, oh my goodness, 22 paths, all come together to form a map of God's creation and the spiritual ascent to man. Where do we come from? Where are these going? The answers lie in the sephirot. When training your magic, it is imp oh my goodness, I just don't care. 
when you're meditating you should focus on your on the separate they say attach this is gonna be on the test you know why 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 are you teaching a magic class why does a school have a magic in curriculum by the way did you notice all i said 22 paths yeah 22 major arcanas <laughs> that's right the same number what was that last the same number of the major arcana that spoke of before. Now continuing on according to the Kabbalah. Well, I forget. Supplementary class in the nurse's office, second semester. Doing demonstration with tarot cards. Such. All right, next time I'm skipping. I'm sorry. Next time I'm skipping. It might be important, but oh my goodness, it just sounds like gibberish to me. It just sounds like gibberish to me. Bro, y'all got me doing all this extra stuff. I just want to hang out with Yukari. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. It's about time. I'm sorry. Really. You should be. If I'd known how long it would take, I would have scheduled an entire day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. Like the way I'm finna kill you with my- Huh? What's up? Alright, peace out. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? I'm concerned about the fact that I haven't hit you with a Nagalio yet. None. Good to hear. And I don't think there will be any issues with your test results either. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done. Especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown. And we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if... We were just waiting for you these past 10 years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes. But I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh-huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? He received an urgent call. I should head back to the dorm alone. I'm finna get jumped, bro. Iwatodai. Iwatodai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. Oh no, 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 no! I'm stranded! Oh, it looks like you're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. You were starting to get worried. Um, did you run into any trouble? My checkup took a while. Oh, I see. I hope everything's alright. I'll let Kirijo Senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm about to get I'm jumped. I'm sure you'll be fine, but considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. Thanks. Accept that kindness. We need to get home. I'm about to get jumped. Wait, I can sense a shadow. And it's really close to you. It's over at the Moonlight Bridge. It's too dangerous to go alone. You should stay put until everyone else gets... There. Oh no! There's another reading near the shadow! It's a person! Now I have to go! Uh, I'll buy some time. Oh, wait! Why? Oh my. And what have we here? What is that demon?! So much power, so much chaos. I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator. 
And on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? I'm here to help, man. I'm just for the shadow. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, is it? No, you're not my friend. I'm, I'm, I'm tolerating you for the shadow. Sound reasoning. And plus, we can get a look at how his persona works. What a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? So that's your strategy. This too is bait. I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. You make a good target. That was quite the spectacle, but it's time to end this. Not this. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. Come, Persona! Hey, 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 don't, don't do that! The finale was surprisingly what is that demon he summoned? And I just realized he didn't have to shoot himself in the head. He just summoned it. He didn't use an evoker. The defeated shadow seems to have dropped something. Why didn't you go grab it? Hmm. Hey, yo, let me Your hold that. Persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. I can't wait till we jump you, bro. What is your name? I'm not telling you my name, bro. Smart. Discretion is the better part of valor. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you all right? Cool. Did you already defeat the Shadow? Yeah. Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. Situation called for it. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. I explained what happened on our way back to the dorm. Yes. Oh, there you are. You had a long night, huh? On that note, let's not go to Tartarus. Got it. I'm sorry. Thanks. I'd like to look into Strago with the chairman's help. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Also, I understand your circumstances last night, but try to avoid staying out late enough from now on. I ain't listening to that bull crap. Talk about some hoes. <sighs> the school summer school is over. I feel like we wasted our summer vacation. I have to make up a bunch of plans. I have a bunch to make a bunch of plans to make up I for have a it. Suggestion. I'm currently aware of a summer festival tomorrow and a film festival the following day. Oh. Oh, that's right. 
Wait, I guess, why do you think about going to the festivals? Indeed. My data indicates that festivals and other events offer unique experiences. So for investigative purposes, I plan to infiltrate such a shading. Yeah. Shadig. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Well, don't try to stand out too much. She gonna infiltrate the shadig. Alright, I feel like it's a good time, a good place to stop it. I'm low key a little mad because I was hoping to get a lot of social link. I was hoping to like make a lot of progress with Yukari social link and you know get into Tartarus a bit, stuff like that. But I was literally just being led around this entire episode. I'm low key a little mad about that. But that's the end of the episode. Peace out. I love you guys. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all and tap in for the next episode.